within the political parties also, the apparent lack of social justice has presented serious challenges to the political stability, to the political party's stability. In PDP, for instance, the complaints of the G5 governors of PDP is not that the party primaries was faulty, but that the pre- and post-primary elections did not guarantee justice to them. Also in APC, the Christian caucus are also aggrieved owing to the perceived injustice following the Muslim-Muslim ticket in the party. Let me therefore say that any failure to democracy starts with the political parties. So today, the challenge before us that is trying to tear the PDP down is not a legal issue. Those five governors are not saying that the primary elections were, were, uh, was rigged. They are saying that the processes did not give them social justice. Now, in uh, APC too, APC is also trying to tear itself uh, down over the Muslim Muslim ticket. This Muslim Muslim ticket is not a matter of law. It's also containable within a democratic setting. But the truth is that some people feel it doesn't deliver social justice to them. And I am saying that the fault is the political parties. If the political parties had, by their own mechanism, taking care of these requirements of social justice, then what the general election, what the general public will face in the general election will not, this will not arise. And so the political parties has to rise to the occasion. So if there is any failure in democracy, it starts with the political parties.